when I was in eighth grade, I was always joking around, having fun, never taking anything seriously. So much so that one kid even asked me, is life a joke to you? I don't remember what I did, but I did, I said yes, life's a joke. And he was like a real serious guy. He was always really serious. Um, but sometimes you have to take things seriously. In life, you have to take things seriously. A lot of times. If it's all smoking and joking, having fun, having a good time. Not thinking about tomorrow. You're just setting yourself up for failure. I remember in maybe 2002 or three, after I got out of the military, okay, maybe it was 2004, 2005, and uh, I was living in Las Vegas, and I could never last at a job more than three months. I don't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't figure it out. So this was like the start of my internet researching when I had an issue. Because <laughs> prior to that, I never really looked on the internet for certain issues. But this is when I started. I went on there and I was thinking, I was like, man, why don't I last at jobs? How come I always switch from job to job to job after every three months? And I thought about that time when I was in eighth grade. And that kid told me, you think life is a joke. And I realized, even though I had been in the military, I lacked a lot of self-discipline. I didn't have self-discipline. And I, I probably still struggle with that, as I'm sure a lot of people do. So I went on the internet. And I was like, self-discipline, what's self-discipline? I looked it up and it's like, self-discipline is like a muscle. If you don't work it, it goes away. You got to work out. You got to work on your on your self-discipline or, or you're not going to have any. You got to push yourself. You got to be strong. You know, you got to be stronger. You got to have willpower to say no when you want to do something that is not helping your life. So then I got all I got all really into it, and uh, I had these two vehicles, and both of them were pieces of junk, and I ended up selling both of them, started taking the bus. I got two jobs within a month, because I had recently lost my job. I was working at Zappos.com, and it was a great job, and I was making good money, and I, uh, you know, they feed you every day, and it was, it was fun. They had these big parties all the time. <laughs> But I, I like, that's when I figured out I didn't take anything seriously. So I ended up losing that job. And so, like I said, I, I was in between jobs at that point. And like I said, I sold both my vehicles. I started taking the bus. I got like two jobs. And then I even got another little job with like Liberty Tax Services, helping people with their taxes and stuff like that. So kind of on the side, I was doing valet Monday through Friday during the day valet Saturday, was it Friday, Saturday and Sunday or just Saturday and Sunday like overnight and I did that for nine months and I was saving up and I was like oh I'm going to move to LA I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to an acting school and I'm going to do all this and and it really worked it was crazy it was crazy you know self-discipline how much self-discipline matters how you have to take life seriously sometimes I know most people already do that but there are people out there who they're like me. They grow up a certain way and they don't take life seriously. And I, I just want to say this to people. You have to take life seriously sometimes. Because if you don't take life seriously, you don't think about the future. You're not thinking about any kind of problems that will arise in your life. And problems will arise. It's not if 
they're going to happen. It's when they're going to happen. And that's why it's good to be self-disciplined. It's good to take life seriously and think about the future and and to be prepared. And that's that's why I really love like looking at prepper type of stuff, prepper lifestyle type of stuff. Because they are the smart ones. The people who prepare, the people who are preppers. I mean, you don't have to like, you know, stockpile for a year or anything, but just, you know, to to just be prepared, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Because like I said, it's not if something is going to happen, it's when. Something is always going to happen. So take life seriously. Prepare, you know, for when something happens. Because it will. And you can't do that if you're not taking life seriously. Yeah, you could joke, you'd have fun. There are times for that. But preparation is key. And you need to have a serious outlook for that at times. So, maybe you're already serious. Maybe you're already a prepper. Good for you. You know, some of us are, <laughs> we're, we're slow learners. So this is for all the slow learners out there. And people who just like to have fun. And don't take life seriously. And don't prepare. Now's the time. You got to do it. We have plenty of time on our hands right now. Actually, we probably don't. Actually, we don't because we have to work harder now because a lot of people are out of work. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Stay serious. Prepper. Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. God bless.